Hello and welcome to the screencast on policy management capabilities with WSO2 API Manager 410. This feature replaced the message mediation feature we had with previous API Manager versions. One major improvement being the increased granularity of policy enforcement from API level to operation level. I'm Ashera Silva and I work as a software engineer here at WSO2. Here's a quick overview of what we'll be covering through this session. First off, what is a policy, how to create a policy, and having done that, We'll do a quick demo on how you can create a policy with WSO2 API Manager, then how to apply policies to an API, and finally a demo around how you can apply policies to a sample API. So to start off, what is a policy? A policy is a collection of rules that will be executed at the API gateway. Using policies, we can make API invocations undergo slight behavioral modifications before reaching the backend. In a similar manner, we can modify the API response a client receives from the backend. API Manager ships a default set of policies that cover most of the common use cases that you will need. Also, you are free to create your own. The actual business logic which is engraved in a policy is dependent on the API gateway that you have configured with WSO2 API Manager. Currently supported gateway types are the regular gateway, in other words the Synapse gateway and secondly Corio Connect. Next let's move on to the section on how to create a policy. There are two ways of creating a new policy, depending on whether you want the policy to be accessible only within a specific API or for it to be available for all APIs, you can decide on which way you want to go. So the two approaches of creating are a common policy, that is a policy which is common to all APIs and the second approach is creating an API specific policy. Also, the main thing that you will need uh, before creating a policy is the policy file. This file is specific to the gateway and for the regular gateway, you will need a .j2 or .xml file. And if you were to go for the other gateway type, which is Corio Connect, you will need a Go template file. And now, let's move on to the demo on how you can create a policy. First, we'll talk about the sample policy file that we'll be using. So this is the addheader.j2 file and its contents. This is the logic that is needed to set a header to your API invocation. Here we have the header name and the header value which is in between double curly braces and are dynamically being set during runtime. Note that these are not static values and so this is the policy file that we'll be using for today's demo. And it is important to note that this is pure technical jargon that we will not be discussing in detail during this screencast. Now let's move to the uh, API manager. So I have started up the 410 pack and have moved to the publisher portal. So for the demo purposes, I'll be deploying the sample Pizza Shack API. And uh, so as I have already pointed out, there are two types of uh, policies. So the common policies, which is outside of any API. So they are commonly available for all APIs and API specific policies. So first we'll talk about the common policy. So as you can see with API manager, we ship a default set of policies that you will need. And uh, so to talk about how you can create a new policy, first off, you will see this section with general details. So here you're supposed to type in the general details about the policy that you wish to create. So we'll add the name of sample and header. So let's just uh, use this only for the request flow and the response flow of invocations. And 
then we have the gateway specific details section so there we have to specify which gateway we want this policy to be applicable for so i'm gonna leave the default which is regular gateway and uh, for the policy file we're gonna upload that j2 file that we created and then uh, the next section is the policy attributes so here we add two attributes if you can recall we have the header name and the header value so the attribute value of header name display name i'll add it as header name so this is a required attribute and we can type in a description if you like and here we describe the value properties so you can select any of the following types if you're dynamically setting anything for the policy so these are strings and you can have a validation regex for the value that you expect from the user for that uh, value that need to be set, set in the policy so you can optionally type in a default value so given the validation regex you can't type a default value like this even the user can only uh, type in a value which is uh, adhering to this validation regex so with that all set we can move on to the second policy which is the header value this is also required and let's just give the description and for value properties again string and the same validation regex i'll use that and here i'll just uh, add a sample value and save this common policy so now that that is created we can go ahead and search for the policy so you can see the sample add header with the description and applicable flows that we attached and now you can view the policy so this is what we just created here you have the option to download the policy file if you need that j2 that we uploaded and uh, you can also delete these common policies then we move on to the api specific policies so under the sample pizza check api we have the policies tab here so under the policy list you can create your new policy from here so more or less this is the same form that we had earlier so i'll just type in uh, some random values here uh, so let's just skip the policy attributes because this is just for demo purposes and i'll save that so now you can see this is the sample uh, api specific policy that we just created so you can view this policy same as earlier and you can delete but you can see that you don't get the delete option for the other policies which are common policies but this being an api specific policy you can delete those if you want to delete custom uh, sorry the common policies you'll have to go to the view that we had earlier and delete from that location that covers that demo now we'll move on to the section how to apply policies so for a given api you can attach one or more policies at the operation level there are three main flows under each api operation that you can utilize that is the request flow the response flow and the fault flow so if you take uh, the slash menu get operation it you can attach any number of policies to these flows whatever the flow that you wish and you can also freely rearrange them if you want to so this is broken down to operation level so if you have a slash menu post operation that will appear separately so this granularity is provided through this feature uh, so when it comes to attaching policies it's as simple as selecting the policy you want and then you drag it and drop it to the re requested flow that you want of the uh, the appropriate operation so you have the request response and the fault flow tabs there to refer to now let's move on to the demo uh, and see how you can apply these policies so let me move back here so here i have come to the pizza check api policies tab so let me pick the slash menu get operation uh, for demo so let's just uh, add a header value uh, header for add header policy here uh, so header name i'll type as food and bar 
and uh, so you can see the apply to all resources option so if you uh, use this option it will be applied to all the request flows of all the operations so let's do that so if you can see now this slash order also got that same and header policy so you can see the same values are there and uh, with any of these operations it will be the same and then you can uh, maybe try to attach uh, the uh, json to xml policy maybe so what this will do is uh, it this policy allows you to change the payload from json to xml so with this policy attached when we invoke the slash menu get operation our response will be returned in xml format so once all uh, the policies that you want are uh, attached to all the operations that you need you can go ahead and click on save without saving this state won't be uh, applied to your api so now you can see that slash post order had has the add header that we attached and the menu operation will have the two policies that we attached uh, now we simply move on to deployments and we do a new deployment and we'll quickly uh, go to the developer portal as the api is already published and let's try it out so i'll get a test key here and let's try the slash menu operation So as you can see we got a 200 response and it is in xml format and uh, as you can remember we attached an add header policy as well so we can verify that by checking the server logs so if you observe carefully you can see the foo bar values the foo was the header name we attached and bar was the header value we attached so that got attached to your api invocation so that was the demo on how you can apply policies to your APIs and that concludes today's screencast on policy management capabilities with WSO2 API Manager. Thank you.